Hi there! In this video, I will show you how to activate the multiple address handling in SAP S4 HANA. Before we jump into the configuration, let me show you a business partner via transaction code BP. We just open a business partner. And by the way, if you want to find out more about the business partner, I will leave you a whole playlist of mine in the description of this video. Over here, we go into the change mode, then we open the role called FLCU01, this one over here. This is for the customer sales and distribution data. Click on sales and distribution, provide your sales organization distribution channel and division. And now you can see here a tab called partner functions. Over here, you could insert deviating business partners for instance, if the sold to party, which is this business partner over here, should deviate from the bill to party, the payer or the ship to party. So I could insert deviating business partners over here. However, I must create those business partners beforehand. This means that in the end we could have here, as of now, four different business partners only to distinguish between different addresses. To this business partner I sell the goods, to this business partner I bill and so on. With SAP S for HANA, 2021 and ongoing, there is a new functionality. This means that we don't necessarily need to create three business partners over here to store different address information, but we go to the general data again. And here in the address overview tab, if we scroll down a bit, we can provide the different addresses. And if we then later on create a sales order, we can choose between these addresses. We do not need to create different business partners anymore. Now I will show you how to activate this function and afterwards we will test it. And by the way, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We will start by navigating to the transaction slash n sfw5. That slash n sfw5. Click on this one. You will see this pop-up screen over here. Click on continue. And now you can see the different business functions that could be activated in our solution. Let's scroll down a bit up until we see the folder called lightweight functions. Open the folder and then you can see here the function BP customer multiple addresses and the function O2C multiple BP addresses. We need to activate both functions to utilize the multiple address handling. So I will select the function over here and also this one over here. And then we select activate changes. Now this pop-up appears, click on activate changes. And you can see a job was started in the background. Let's click on continue. You can see the activation process is running as of now. Now we can go to slash n sfw underscore browser. And here we can check all the activated business functions. Just scroll down up until you can see BP customer multiple addresses. You can see it's green and also check the same for our O2C multiple BP addresses. I will just fast forward and here you can see it is activated as well. Now we navigate into the customizing via slash NSPRO, click on sub reference IMG and then navigate to cross application components, SAP business partner, activation switch for functions. Select this one and here make sure that for the development BUT020, the active symbol is checked. This is for the time dependency of our business partner addresses. If this is not set in your system, then click on it and afterwards save. Okay, let's go back. Now we go to business partner in the same node, then basic settings, go to address determination and on define transactions. Over here, you need to make sure that the following transactions are created. BBP003 for sending our goods, BBP004 for sending our bills, as well as BBP006 for the supplier return to address, BBP007 to receive sales orders, and also XXDFLT for the standard. If those entries are not existing, you can simply click on new entries, then provide the transactions I have shown you before in the descriptions and then save. So far so good. Now we go back and go to define address types. And over here, you must include the bill to address type. As always, if it's not existing, click on new entries and then just copy the information as you can see it here in my screen and also make sure to select multiple usages. The same also counts for return to, for ship to and for default. For default, you can't include the multiple usage indicator, but this is fine. Let's go back. Now, as a last step, click on assign transactions to address types and over here, make sure that BBP003 is assigned to our ship to address type, BBP004 to our build to, and BBP006 to our return to, as well as, as always, our 
xxdflt to our default address type. Now also check the address determination for the customer, therefore we go to slash n sm30, select the view v underscore tpra underscore sd, click on edit, and then scroll down a bit, up until you see the partner function bp. Here make sure that in the last column you can see address determination for partner function. We include our bbp004 from before. For the return address, we store our bbp006 that we created before. And then we just need to find our partner function sh for the ship to party. Just scroll down a bit. And here you can see sh. Make sure that bbp003 is assigned. Now all what is left is to go to slash and spro again. Click on sub reference img. Scroll down up until you find sales and distribution. Open this. Click on basic functions. Then select partner determination. Set up partner determination. And select set up partner determination for sales document header. Select sales order and then double click on partner functions in procedure. And here we will now include for the sold to party BBP007, so the receive sales order address determination procedure for our build to party. We will open the search help and include BBP004, send builds. And for the ship to party, we will include BBP003. Now save. And that's it. Now all the customizing is finished, we can look into the process. Therefore, we navigate to the transaction code slash NBP again. Now we will create a new business partner of type organization, provide a grouping, and then we provide some dummy data, let's just say test, multiple address fees. We provide a street, house name, postal code, city and country. Then we navigate to the address overview tab. Over here you can see our address. However, if we scroll down a bit, you can see many more different addresses that we could fill. Amongst others, our billing address and also our delivery address that we filled before in the customizing. So now we scroll up again, we click on new, we click on create, provide deviating address information, let's just say deviating address 12, let's just fill some dummy data, then we store validity and continue. Now you can see we have two different addresses over here. If we scroll down again, we can now click on delivery address, then click on create, select the deviating address, click on enter. If you see this message over here, then this is because we need to restrict the validity period of the address usage. As you can see, it's here up until 9,999 and over here only up until the 31st of December 2024. So let's close for now, restrict it like that, select the deviating address and assign it. Now you can see it's assigned over here. Let's save and the business partner was created. Let's go into the change mode, go to the role selection, navigate to FLCU01, customer role, click on sales and distribution, provide your sales organization distribution channel and division, then check if you have any more mandatory fields, and then save. Now the business partner was saved successfully. Now it's time to check the implications on our sales orders. Therefore we navigate to slash n VA01, by the way, I have a video explaining you how to create a sales order. I will leave you the link in the description of this one. Type in your order type, sales organization, distribution channel and division. Hit on continue or enter on your keyboard. And now, if you type in the business partner we just created as the sold to party and hit on enter, you will see the selection screen where you can choose the address. So in this case, the address for the sold to party is correct. Let's click on continue. And for the ship to party, you can see it already found the deviating address that we just maintained, but we could also say that we want the same address. So you can choose, quite flexible, which addresses should be used, which was formally done via the partner functions tab. So the main advantage here, as you can see, is we have one business partner and I can store multiple addresses depending on the function. So ship to, build to and so on. In comparison to the old functionality, where I had to create a new business partner just to store the deviating address and then link both business partners via the partner functions. Okay, we can just click on continue and then you can continue to create the sales order. This marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel. 
and activate the bell. See you next time.